Hi there, my name is Nevigam, and today we're playing Subnautica. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, we were on our way over to the Chief Technical Officer, I assume is what CTO stands for. Um, use Life Pod. We're going to see what what's up over there. Um, we've stopped by a couple of places and picked some stuff up. Nothing particularly exciting has happened um, on the way over here yet. I was I was hoping to find some some new recipes, but so far it's just been more of the same stuff we already have. Uh, oh, okay. I kind of know where we are now. Maybe I have been to this life pod. Have I? This is where I started finding gel sacks. I think, right? No, I never found a never found a life pod. Okay, I gotta be careful because I'm getting getting kind of close to. The sea moths depth limit here, so let's. Uh, I think we're basically right above it. So we're gonna go down a little bit, and we're gonna call it there. All right. Let's see about getting down there. Oh come on! <laughs> Every time I start the game over again, it resets the sea sea glide. I just want the flashlight. Which one is that? There. Okay, what do we have here? Please be something I don't have already. Oh, it isn't. Cyclops module depth. What is, huh? Cyclops depth module mark one. That's amazing. That's great news. Okay. What's this? Use voice log. Hit me. Whoop, sorry, Voices wrong button. Failed. As usual. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. Okay. Did that work? It's working. Oh. In what context? Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Blood oil. Bad. The oxygen's Blood going oil. to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. Uh -huh. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and Ooh. build whatever gear we can. <laughs> Maybe not. And then we find a way to the surface. Maybe don't tangle with warpers if we don't need to. I guess I don't really need that. Um, what am I looking for? Why am I why am I dawdling down here? Any reason? Any reason whatsoever? Resources I might want. There's rubies. There's. I wonder if the matter analyzer and the and the synthesizer thing. I wonder if those could take rubies. Also, what is this? Ro rouge, rouge cradle. Okay, can I get a, a seed? I can. Is that something I want? Probably not. <laughs> there's uranium or uranite or whatever it's called. Uh, there's a couple of guys I probably don't want to mess too much with. Okay. I'm going to get lost if I mess around here too much, and I'm quite deep. So, I think it's a good time to head back towards the sea moth. Um... All right, cool. So I got a depth module for this for the Cyclops, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I do want to start thinking about possibly constructing the uh, the Cyclops quite soon. But yeah, I think uh, heading back home might be a good idea at this moment. If I could remember where home is, there it is. <laughs> Boy. Boy, oh boy. And then that's on the island, right? So that's there's nothing particularly exciting to find there, I don't think. I don't think I would I don't think I would learn anything new by going there now. I don't know though. Because I already went to the island. So I don't know if Well, I, I just don't know. Can't remember if uh if there's anything else there, if there's anything to learn. I mean, I think there is other stuff there that I, that I didn't mess around with just because it was sort of unnecessary. There might be a teleporter there. I don't remember. Um, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right. I've definitely been here. I've definitely looked through that stuff. Well, pretty sure I have. <laughs> uh, in fact, I might have. That might have been what I checked on the way here. So... I won't worry about it. Um, 
Yeah. 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 More money. More money, more potential stuff to use my matter analyzer with. That's what I'm that's what I'm really in the market for. Ooh, here's a bunch of stuff. I don't think I've I don't think I've looked through here. Oh wow. Uh, rude. <laughs> no, no, I did I did look in there. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, never mind. Totally have looked at all these places already. Boring. <laughs> Boo. Boo for my previous thoroughness. Uh, what do we have here? Just some metal scrap. This is a good... Although... I was going to say it's a, it, that, that might be a good place to get stalker teeth. But who needs stalker teeth? <laughs> I theoretically have infinite stalker teeth now. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Not gonna worry about that anymore. I sure will. I'm headed home now and I'm gonna get myself an orange soda. The best for hydration. Unless, you know, you're human. <laughs> In which case, that would be a terrible idea. That's all Riley drinks orange soda, day in, day out. where he gets all his water. There's a port thread there, right? Yeah. I was going to say, the base isn't... I don't remember the base floating. I don't think it floats. It's... Probably doesn't make total sense that it just uh, sits there happily with only those... only those supports keeping it up, but I'm not going to complain about it. All right, so we've got nothing here. We've got no radio messages. Let me get an orange soda. Delicious. And then let me also get a nutrient bar. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, so what's happening over here? All right, so far so good. It's still totally lost. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cool. I have so many of those now. More more of those than I really need, I think. It's still totally lost stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and give it that. I can't get anything else. How did I get an acid mushroom spore? I don't know. Um, what do we have here? We got some, some titanium. I'm starting to get a little bit more titanium, which is going to be really important, especially if I want to start making a, C, uh, a Cyclops. So we should probably be uh, picking up a fair amount of titanium when it is available. I could turn my, my guys to make, uh, my my drillers. I could tell them to also do titanium if I wanted to. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea to have uh, have them make gold and titanium because it's nice that they make so much gold, but it's probably not necessary for them to make only gold. Might be worth it to also have titanium. Um, how much cash do I have? Boy, one of these days. <laughs> one of these days with the ex escape key. You know? Okay. So, Cyclops? Cyclops, maybe? What is a Cyclops going to take me to build? Mobile vehicle bay. Cyclops. 
three plasteel ingots, three enamel glass, a lubricant, an advanced wiring kit, and three lead. God, that's pretty cheap, all things considered. Depth module is pretty cheap. I mean, it's all a ton of titanium, so it's not like it's cheap, cheap, but like 30 titanium is not super cheap, but you know, it's it's not, not wild. Uh, 18, uh, 26. So, I mean, I'm almost there. I almost have enough just to make the Cyclops. And with the drillers now also drilling up titanium. Probably get a fair amount of titanium now. Probably clear out these inventories a little bit as much as possible. <laughs> Just to make room for more stuff. God, it's too much gold. <laughs> I need more of these. Let's make another one of those. First, let's make another platform. Um, two lead, two titanium. No problem. No problemo. Two lead. I know it's using titanium, and I just was talking about like saving my titanium, but totally worth it. Um, maybe here. Um, let's actually get a few more of those. And if by a few, I mean one more. Because <laughs> I wouldn't mind one right here. And these add, right? These add some stability to the small strength? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so what's this gonna cost me here? Ooh, that's not super cheap either. Two glass, advanced wiring kit. I gotta remember what's in the advanced wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit is, it's two silver, two gold, two copper, Two copper, two table coral. Oh yeah, it's three gold. That's the that's what's weird about it. Two silver, three gold, two copper, two table coral. Well, wow. gold is not a problem. So let me get two copper, two silver, three gold, two table coral. I have, I have none. I have none table coral. All right. I guess I've just been grabbing table coral like as needed. But whatever. Two table coral. So that should be everything I need to make an advanced wiring kit. So that's gonna be uh, copper wire. That's gonna be computer chip. That's going to be wiring kit. And that's going to be advanced wiring kit. Lovely. Easy peasy. Next is... What was I doing? <laughs> um, two plastic lingots, two glass, two silicone rubber. Silicone rubber, I think, should be pretty straightforward. Especially now. I'll take one of these. Thank you. So cool. That was great. That's a great thing to have. This makes me two silicone rubber. Nice. Easy. And then glass is also very easy. I can just use these. And just one to one, these turn into glass. One and two. Fantastic. That is almost all of it. The next is titanium. And someone has a fair bit of gold on them, and I shouldn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a party. Alright, let's see if we can't get a little bit more gold out of my inventory. So that I can at least grab 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oof, boy, we are blowing through titanium, but this is going to be great. This is going to be really important. Right? It's it's a titanium ingot, right? Yes, titanium ingot and lithium. Okay. So two plasteel ingots. And then all that other fun stuff. Right, we can build ourselves a second ore processor. Which is going to take a fair amount of power. But that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. Uh, Oh, well now it's working perfectly. Where was all this... Where was all this working perfectly before when I was trying to put that hat down? Kind of want to make sure it doesn't go off the edge, too. So, let me re-rotate this this way. Put it right there. Because I'm hoping I can put the other one right next to it. Because I don't really want it by the front door anymore. If possible. Alright, cool. That'll live there. I'll wait for that to finish. But we can go ahead and... Get a ton of... Ton of go hold. And yeah, we're already starting to pick up a fair amount of titanium. Alright. Perfect. Kick that off. And I feel like I feel like this is the best the best way to do this in terms of like what to spend our money and resources on early game. Because this is what's gonna theoretically give us a ton of money to buy more cool stuff. <laughs> the more money we have, the more cool stuff we can buy. Uh, and theoretically the more money we can make. <laughs> so I'm going pretty hard on or or uh, drillers and or processors. But that's just because it'll hopefully just make a ton of money. Okay. How we doing? Okay, so far so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous because... It, it lost some stuff. It legitimately lost stuff. Okay, I don't know if I need any more of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. I don't need, I don't, honestly, I don't really need either of those. I don't really need cave sulfur, and at this particular moment, I don't really need stalker teeth. I've got a couple. I'm gonna need some enamel glass, so I'm gonna go through a bit of it, but not like, not a ton. You know, I think at this point, we're kind of, uh, we maybe have more of this kind of stuff than we need. <laughs> Surprisingly. Ooh, I already have a Cyclops efficiency module. You know. Um I have rubies. Am I am I storing rubies in the in the drive? I guess I am now. Uh Yeah, that's fine. Just have a ton of gold on me still, but Whoa, we are just absolutely careening through our power. Having both of these uh, ore consumers on, I assume, is is the problem. But that's all right. Uh, we're almost at 575,000 Altera bucks, which means that we are close-ish to a better driller. kind of want to go with that especially since then we can use that storage module and it powers itself it has thermal generators so theoretically I can take it down closer to the thermal generators 
It's got solar, but that would theoretically mean it won't work. Well, but so do the ones I'm the ones I'm running now are powered on solar, so man, that doesn't matter so much. Six hundred thousand. Uh huh. I can just buy her out, gel, which is nice. Thirty-five thousand for five? Oh no, I can I can add just I can add five if I wanna do a bulk order. Okay, I got it. I understand. Uh, base utility unit, mini med bay. Um, what's next? What are we sort of shooting for here? In terms of what we might wanna. I guess, I guess it's just the driller, but then, I mean, this is also something I wanna go for, and we are halfway there, technically. <laughs> it might not be a bad idea to try to uh, head towards this sort of ASAP because I think I, I assume this is going to generate an absolute ton of power because it's so expensive that I sort of have to believe it will um, and this can run up to 15 of these which is pretty wild so do I want to Just go to 700,000. Or do I want to save up even more for that million? Uh. Well, one thing I want is more power. I kind of feel like I want to buy a few more of these. These are pretty good. They generate a fair bit. What are you generating? Hundred and sixty-six per minute. This is done. So I'm going to take this down. Oh, I got my lubricant back. Wait. Oh, no, this is just the, the recipe. <laughs> I forgot that it's it's not a thing. Okay, and then I'm going to put this right next to this one if I can. I can. Oh, it's just sticking off the side a little bit. That's okay. As long as it's not, as long as it's not too aggressive looking. All right, I have the seven hundred thousand. I think what I'm going to do first, though, is in fact buy some of these. I think I have to. Um, just because I want my power to be a little bit more sorted, uh, so that I can feel a little more comfortable about using these with reckless abandon. And that'll help me with that'll help me with the with the money. Uh, let's see. Doot, doot. Plenty of plenty of thirst. Still good. Um sure, acid mushrooms. I gotta figure out some, if there's some food recipes I might actually wanna start making. That is that is simply just something I never really got into in this game. I was, uh, I got I got into more into food into below zero, but, okay. Um, in, well, I mean, let's see. I was gonna say, instead of waiting around for titanium, I was just gonna go find some, but let's see how much titanium I have out of here now. Not a ton, but I'm kind of waiting for it. Then, you know, watch pot never boils, but it might be faster for me to jet around and just go find some, find some titanium. All right, 
right, we got up to 800 power, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill these up again. Three. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, not even enough. Why? <laughs> that was another reason I was happy to uh, have these only mine one thing. Sure. No, I'll keep it. <laughs> okay, so I got my power thingies. Let me put my titanium away. I'm still trying to build back up to 30. Whoop. Cool. And let's put these down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this space that we freed up here. I don't know if it matters. I assume it does not. I assume it doesn't matter if, like, they have to be, you know, but I assume they don't have to be, like, have a, have, have a clear space in front of them or anything like that, you know? I assume that doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, turn on, turn on, turn on. One sixty-five, one sixty-seven, one sixty-five. Okay, it's all about the same. They don't seem particularly affected by their environment in any way, shape, or form. And now we're generating uh, more power than we're using, even with these both running. Tremendous. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so power is looking good. These guys can run theoretically all the time. Um, here's what I'm hoping for. We're still right. Right now, we're kind of at the limit of how much <laughs> gold I can produce. I'm not producing enough to keep up with these guys theoretically, but uh that's not so that's a that's a good problem to have, in my opinion. 166. They don't look like they're running as efficiently as this guy, but this one says it's only making 166 also, so I'm not entirely sure what dictates th their animation. Oh, maybe they're just not ready, or they're just, they haven't gotten into position yet. <laughs> just a slow animation. They just take their time to, to find, find their equilibrium. I like how they have little ID tags. I wonder if that's useful in some way. If at some point I can, like, control them remotely or something, probably. Uh -huh. Anywho. All right, let's uh, take just a quick little trip in the old Seamoth, and we're gonna, we're just gonna go titanium hunting. Roll around here in the shadows. Sh shadows? Shallows. <laughs> looking for, just looking for, you know, uh, scrap, scrap metal. It's not scrap metal. There usually is scrap metal lying around these parts, but maybe I've sort of picked it up already. Um, my usual spot is this little, no, not this way, because I'm, of course, turned around like I always am. Where's that little, like we're already back up to 400,000. So having two of those things running is pretty incredible. Bro, I don't know. I'm so turned around. <laughs> oh, man. Will I ever know where the heck I am? Here? Maybe. Potentially. This little... Yes, here. This is sort of where... Nope, not here. I don't know. I have literally no idea where I am or where I'm going. I was trying to find scrap and I just got lost. <laughs> so uh, we'll take another quick, another quick look for the lost fire extinguisher. Just cause I'm curious if it is still around somewhere. 
and if we could have found it, but I don't think so. All right, scrap, anybody? Here we go. Finally, one piece of scrap. After all that, we got one. We're, we're set. Set for life. Um, there we go. It's probably not even that good of an idea to look around the wreckage, because hard to tell what's scrap and what's not scrap in that wreckage. So it's probably actually better to just look around on the ground. Like that. Ow, did I just run myself over? I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful when you're driving the Seamoth. Has a life of its own. That actually... Can I theoretically put... Could I theoretically put a thermal generator down there? I wonder how... much power it actually would produce or m more more accurately can I put the big fancy driller down there because I'm kind of lithium is great and all although actually you know what lithium is probably pretty valuable actually I should test that out so this is all gold 1570 is what I'm making from gold 15 15 70? 15,750. 15,750. I make per gold. What do I make for a titanium? Or a uh, lithium, rather. Because theoretically I can set a... Uh... Oh, inventory full. Uh, I can make use of this. Um... Because what I'm what I'm concerned about or curious about is that I, I like that I can get gold and titanium and stuff up here, where where my drillers are, and if I put a driller down by that thermal those thermal vents, because that big driller has its own thermal generator, which would be obviously very nice that I didn't have to build another power thing just for that. But what is it going to be drilling up? Is Will it have titanium? Will it have gold? Will it have silver? Will it have any of those things? Or will it just be lithium? But, and magnet, lithium and magnetite and that kind of thing. But, that might not be, if I'm using it just for money, that might not be bad. All right, that's a ton of titanium. Um, we have 590,000. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw lithium into an ore consumer. Just see what happens. Just to see what happens, and then we'll wrap up. I just want to know how much money I can get, and then maybe that's maybe it's more valuable. Maybe that's more valuable down under the water. And if I could put it in the remote thing, I can get it from the base. I didn't even think about that. That's oh, that's actually tremendous. I, it might need an antenna, or it might have an antenna built in. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out, because I didn't even think about that. That that's that's one in the. I was thinking that remote, that storage thing, uh, this thing, the remote storage unit. I was thinking that one nice thing about that is it's got a lot of storage, right? It can hold 200 items, so it's like a buffer that can increase, sort of increase the usefulness, the useful life of that, like reduce how many times you have to go down and get the stuff. But, of course, with 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 wireless technology, wireless improvements, I can access that from here. So all of the lithium or whatever it is that I'm drilling up down there will just be in here, theoretically. Assuming that I, whether I need an antenna or not is a, is a different story, but that's, ooh, I hadn't even thought about that. Okay. Um, let me just throw this in here real quick, just to test out. Fifteen seven fifty is what that's worth. Fif also fifteen seven fifty. So okay, so it's the same. Uh so 
I mean, these are gonna be here, right? These can be here to, to get my copper and all that other stuff. I can transition those from making money to actually getting useful objects. Um, I just wanted to wait and actually see it. See it process just to confirm that it is in fact 15,750. Um, let's go ahead and add that. This is so cool. Uh, yep, 15,750 gold or uh, Altera bucks for lithium as well as gold. Okay, fantastic. So yes, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna move, uh, we're gonna save up a little bit of money um, and get a driller down, down where I'm generating power, right? Down there somewhere, wherever the heck that is. <laughs> where is it? It's out there somewhere. Um, we'll put a big old driller down there and near the lava so that it can generate its own power all the time. Hopefully set up a remote storage thing. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. But I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much. When I come back with more Subnautica, we will do all of that and more. Who knows? We'll have to find out next time. All right. Have a great day. And I can't wait to see you again. Okay, bye. Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.